You're going across his head. Just like you're rattling anybody else, man. You got to get to him and go across his head and make him think that somebody's rushing him and it's not so he get the ball out a little faster. And if he's holding it, try to take it to him. That might cost you about 15 minutes. Hey, it'll be well worth it going across the quarterback's head. So the Browns-Steelers rivalry alive and well. As Gerard Warren earlier in the week, as you heard, saying we're going to get to the unbeaten rookie Ben Roethlisberger Pittsburgh. You know that sat in Pittsburgh. And so, so much for a we're not that interested in after beating the unbeatens New England and Philadelphia. Here goes Pittsburgh into Cleveland. And a, a nice sight before the Warren saying, it, obviously to Roethlisberger, hey, you know what, that, that wasn't personal. But however this was, William Green Browns, Joey Porter Steelers, getting into it before the game and it looks like you can't totally tell could be green spit on porter porter throwing punches both ejected from the game before it even started so bill count you know what that, that didn't make him happy no you lose one of your best defensive player arguably meanwhile they got plenty of players on offense first drive pittsburgh roethlisberger to heinz ward 18 yards roethlisberger to ward 22, look at Hines, 22 yards, the moves, and then Warren is number 61. He's going to be chasing Roethlisberger, and Ben can move here for the big guy. Talk about a guy who grew up in northern Ohio, went to school at Miami of Ohio, and he's playing in Cleveland, and now he can... Jerome Bennett, five yards. Yeah, and take another look at this. Look where the offensive line starts. <laughs> Everybody's in the end zone. At the end of this, referee just pick out the guy with the football. 103 yards for Bettis, who's just a handful of yards shy of Tony Dorsett, fifth all time. Now, second quarter. Watch Hines Ward on the block on the scramble by Ben Roethlisberger. How does he feel this time? He's a rookie. And right there, <laughs> Hines with the big block. And Roethlisberger's 20-yard scramble sets up a Bettis one-yard run. And 14-3, Steelers. Steeler defense, meanwhile. Troy Palomalu had a pair of picks. To, pair of picks for Palomalu. Pick the peck of Say that back two times. <laughs> Meanwhile, fourth quarter. Blitzburg is back, Tom. Look at him chase Jeff Garcia. Lee Suggs. Boom, Farrier. Pressure all day coming from different places. They're excited. They're as active a defense as, as we've seen this year. And Cleveland felt it. Look at them come through. Look at them chase the quarterback. Look at them make plays. And there's a fumble. Aaron Smith knocks it loose. Russell Stuvance picks it up. And the defense. And Bill Cowher, lots of Pittsburgh fans made the trip. Look at him. You think he's enjoying this? Why not? Ben Roethlisberger, rookie quarterback, Miami of Ohio, 7-0. Since I've been keeping track of this stuff since the merger, nobody else has done that. And the Steelers, 24-10 winners over the Browns. They don't lose their sight, do they? No, I, I, I think that the Steeler team is a team that definitely has a game plan. The quarterback understands what he needs to do. The rest of the team around him clearly understands what they need to do as well. And the Pittsburgh Steelers, they've done it both sides of the ball. This list that Jerome Bettis and Curtis Martin also had 100 today. They climb up another list, and when you see E. Smith, W. Payton, B. Sanders, E. Dickerson, J. Brown, and you're six and seven on this list? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Quite a list. Yikes. And so the boss, who had another start for him today, had another 100-yard gain. So, you know, it's not a... He's got plenty of tread on the tire. And here's the thing. I mean, Pittsburgh has big-time performers all over the offense, don't they, Tom? Well, and I think they understand clearly working hard for each other. Want to show you this football team and what they're willing to do in terms of sacrifice for the next guy. It's the wide receivers all blocking for each other. Here, Roethlisberger is going to go to Ward, but it's Burris and it's Randall L. looking to throw the blocks to get him the extra yards down the football field. Receivers working hard at blocking, something that a lot of them don't necessarily like to do. Ben looking to his right, coming back to his left. Again, now he's scrambling. He's in trouble. Burris coming back to me, giving me a place to throw the football. You can see him running right back toward the line of scrimmage so he has a place to throw the ball. Here, Roethlisberger on the scramble. Jeremy Tooman throwing a block out on the sideline. Hines Ward coming back to spring him for the extra 
five yards there, six yards, making sure his quarterback, again, doesn't get hurt. And here, watch Burris here kind of. He's going to stop, deep the corner, deep the corner. Corner's looking right at him. Then seal the block, keep pumping downfield. Give your quarterback some yardage. Make sure he doesn't get hit. And I think that if this team is going to be a great football team, and I think they certainly potentially could be yeah. that, it's because of the way they work, because of the way the machine works. And it's a team like New England has done, different than New England, but they, 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 it seems like everybody team. understands the big picture. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Yeah, pretty team. interesting when you haven't <laughs> lost the game.